Eagle McMahon. You might not have seen much of him this season due to injuries, but for the past few years, Eagle has been leading the charge in disc golf. Besides Macbeth and Waisaki, Eagle has had the best results for the past couple of years. He is a walking highlight reel, arguably one of the most well-balanced disc golfers. Eagle has a fantastic forehand and backhand, both of them with max distance. When it comes to distance, he's at the top of the leaderboard for disc golf. Usually those kind of players aren't well-rounded. Eagle is. He's one of the best putters on tour. His spin putting has incredible range. Eagle is one of the best, but it's taken a while for him to get there. There has been falters and blunders on the way. Today we're going to check these out along with some of his best moments. Eagle McMahon, he has had some really great shots, some really good wins, and some not so good moments. Here we go. Eagle is a walking highlight reel. His best shots come out of nowhere because he's so well rounded. He has some really good rollers, sidearm leanouts, anything you can imagine Eagle has that with distance. I pulled together some of my favorite shots of Eagle. Here's a quick montage of what he's capable of. 104 feet. No way! Oh my god! What? I throw like my up shots from that. Oh, no, <laughs> no, let's go. <laughs> oh, if that holds the turn, I still need to push forward enough. Look at this shot, Nate. No way, it's coming out. <laughs> what? Here's Eagle, probably. 375 feet away, going with the low forehand. This is coming in pretty fast. Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Eagle's name just popped up on the screen. 375 feet away. Oh my goodness. Distance driver, one skip and in. And that, oh my goodness. That is so awesome. All-Star title on the line with this single shot by Eagle McMahon. He must throw this in in order to force a sudden death playoff. And he does! Eagle McMahon! Unbelievable! Is he going roller on this? This is so He's sick. Position. He's It's the tree. Just keep going. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Go up the hill. Yeah, look how far that is. Oh my jeez. Oh my gosh. He's gone. Oh my gosh. He's gone long of the basket. On the leash here. This is reachable for him. Oh my gosh. This is more than reachable. He ripped that. <laughs> oh my goodness. If this stays in bounds. Oh my gosh. Gosh, that is a <laughs> the circle. This would be a huge two. Count. Oh, yeah. Now, you can have highlights all you want, but if you don't make it count, it doesn't really matter. Now, we're going to check out some of my favorite of Eagle's wins. After three rounds at Deeglo, Eagle was tied for the lead with James Conrad. That wouldn't be the case after the first nine of the final round. Eagle would actually be two strokes behind Kevin Jones. Tied with Eagle for second was Ricky Wysocki as well. On the back nine, Eagle would get a lot of birdies right off the bat. Meanwhile, his opponents became stagnant. Eagle quickly took the lead after birdies on 11, 12, and 13. Kevin and Ricky would surge later in the round, but Eagle held them off going into the final hole. Par 3 uphill, it's gettable. Eagle has a one-shot lead. If he parks it, then this is over. Ricky was up first. He puts it close. Eagle is up next. He puts it just outside the circle. Here is Eagle. This is for the win. What's the championship? Wow, what a championship putt. <laughs> Unreal. On the stripe, perfect spot. No oh, chance for anything but a title when that left his hand. Remember this putt because we're going to skip ahead just one year later to the same tournament. Eagle versus Kyle Klein, Deeglo 2021, Eagle keeping him at bay. Same hole, hole 18, Eagle has a one shot lead over Klein. Watch as Eagle throws it up there, pretty much to the same spot as the year before, just outside of the circle. Now here is Eagle, back-to-back -back years where he had the same putt to win the tournament. He has a good memory, even from the last hole. Yeah! 
Chinos. Oh, he loves it. Wow, have you ever seen Eagles so pumped? In order to be considered one of the best, you need to have major championships on your record. This may be the only thing holding Eagle back in comparison to players like Macbeth and Waisaki. Let's check out some of Eagle's major moments, both good and, well, bad. 2016 was an interesting year for Eagle. Just three major championships on the year and all of them Eagle was in the hunt, but only one of them was really close for him. The 2016 United States Disc Golf Championship held like always at Winthrop Gold. This one is an interesting tournament. Due to weather conditions for the final day, they only played three rounds for the tournament. At the beginning of round three, Eagle had a four shot lead over Jeremy Colling and a seven shot lead over Ricky and Nico. Eagle gets off to the unluckiest start you can have. Here's what happened after his good tee shot. Here's Eagle to kick things off. Oh no. A 40 footer off the tray to a roll away to a 60 footer to start the round. Give it a valiant effort. And with that putt by, whoa, wasn't expecting that with that putt by jerk. After such a bad start, Eagle had to grind. And he did, he made a lot of putts on the front nine to keep himself within range. After nine holes, he was just one shot back of Coling. Coling shot five under on the front nine. Meanwhile, Eagle pulls together an even round. Hole 10 at USDGC is always a go for it Eagle shot. You can make an easy birdie by laying up or you can full send. Here's Eagle fighting to get a shot back. For Eagle. Yeah, got that one. Wasn't gonna let another opportunity pass him by after what happened. Eagle reclaims the lead after that shot and the next hole as well after Coling throws OB on his tee shot. Eagle now has a two shot lead with seven holes to play. We skip to hole 13, a par four, position tee shot, then you throw over an OB parking lot to where the basket is. Here's what happens. Trying to get on that flat with a straight shot across. Eagle the first to attempt. Ooh. Really kind of tough position where he's kind of forced to make a very aggressive shot, a very aggressive line. To lay up from there would be tough, but he's really, you know, he's an aggressive player, so you gotta go for the big shot. Unfortunately, the first, second, and third shots just left too low out of his hand, never had a chance to get the big skip over the curb back in bounds. Yeah, this is his fourth attempt at getting on the green. Very unfortunate, very tough to watch any player go through this. So Eagle gives up a five stroke swing. This was it for Eagle. Not much you're gonna do after taking a 10 on a par four. He fought back a little bit, but Coling just jumped out ahead. After tripling the 18th hole, Eagle would shoot a round of seven over. Jeremy Coling would win the three round USDGC. Eagle would tie for fourth place. The next major Eagle would play in would be the Aussie Open. Battling it out with Ricky for all four rounds, it would come down to the last two holes. The whole final round, Eagle and Ricky had been grinding it out, making birdies, matching each other's best shots, until hole 17. At this point, Eagle had a two shot lead over Ricky. Eagle's drive would fall short on the par three, coming up out of bounds. Ricky had parked it, this was his chance to recover those two shots. Here is Eagle from the drop zone. Oh my goodness, Eagle McMahon. Does the kid even know what pressure is? After making the putt from the drop zone, Eagle would save a shot, going into 18, still having the lead. Ricky was up first, he parks it, all the pressure is now on Eagle. Here's his drive on the 18th hole. If he makes birdie, he wins his first major. And that's wide. He is O-B. Another close call for Eagle. Just two drives would be his downfall. On to the next year, 2018, where major championships started looking up for Eagle. The 2018 Kona Piche Day Open, only three majors on the year, the European major being called the Kona Piche Day Open. Blonde Eagle McMahon, gonna be honest, I think this was the difference, absolutely smokes the competition. Going into the final round, he had a nine shot lead over second place Simon Lazat. Eagle plays smart, learns from his mistakes in past majors, and plays as good as he can. Nothing crazy happens, it was never close, and he ends up winning by four shots, after playing incredibly smart and safe. Eagle wins his first and only major championship. This one was cool to see, it was hard watching him come up short at USDGC and the Aussie, but he finally got his redemption and takes home his first major title. 
Now, Eagle plays with a lot of emotion. If you have been following him for some time, you will know this. He tends to have some outbursts from time to time. A couple of them are somewhat infamous in the disc golf community, such as in 2019, Portland Open, Eagle misses this putt for the win. Now that one did not result in injury, but he was flustered. He would go on to lose in a playoff to Drew Gibson. Again, that didn't result in an injury, but this next clip did. 2019 USDGC in the third round on hole 16. Check it out. Eagle from a knee. I don't know why he'd go to a knee. That was a hard punch to the ground. Oh no, Eagle. Luckily, this was at the end of the season and he had time to heal. But it goes without saying, for that tournament, it could have been way different if Eagle wasn't injured. He was only down two shots going into the final round, and it's Eagle. If he's the hottest player on the course, he can come back from any deficit. For a player of his standard, it definitely counts as one of the worst moments in disc golf. He plays through it on the final round, but he just couldn't take it with the injury. Eagle gets seventh place at USDGC in 2019. Now that's not the only infamous injury Eagle has. The next one was more of a freak accident. Going into 2021 Tour Championship, Eagle and Ricky had been neck and neck for the number one seed, but Eagle wouldn't end up playing the tournament. During a photo shoot before the event, Eagle would do a 360 spin sidearm throw and injure his elbow. He would have to pull out of the event. Now in 2022, Eagle has yet to return to full potential. He played the all-star event without throwing 100% sidearms. For the first few events in the year, he just wasn't quite there. Then at the Jonesboro Open, he pulled out due to a shoulder injury. I don't know if that has anything to do with the elbow, but he hasn't played an event since April. Since Eagle is such a highlight, I wanted to end the video on a high note. Let's check out Eagle's two aces. Eagle has just two aces on camera. I imagine he has more, but these are just the two that I could find. One of them just made my last video of the top 10 aces. Make sure to go check that out and see where it landed. As for the other one, nothing crazy, but still a cool clip. Let's check them both out. In 2018, Eagle played in the Oklahoma Open, and he won it. What helped was this pretty solid forehand ace that he got on hole 6. 360 feet, this one hits just right. For the second one, it's just ridiculous. Not a long hole, not like it's hard. Just the way Eagle gets it done is one of the best. Enjoy this shot. You won't see one like it for a while. Thanks for watching the video. I have other videos just like this one, so make sure to go check them out. Comment down below your thoughts on Eagle McMahon. Give me some of your favorite moments of his. All right, we'll see you next time. Cheers.